one <clears throat> whose eyes you gaze into. When the one you think of first and last is the one who holds you tight, and the things you plan together make the whole world seem just right. When the one who you believe in puts their faith and trust in you, you've found the one and only love you'll share your whole life. So many of the bestest poems, we don't know who wrote them, so we collect them and we share them with the people that we love. But I want to tell you guys something. When you find someone who loves you for just the way you are, just exactly how you are, and then you love them back, your life changes all for the better everything just turns around it's just completely different and you know when that happens you remember i know that you do a lot has happened over the last what four years over four years right when you met in march 2020 my gosh what a profound time that was because you met of course yeah yeah Aren't you happy, though, that you took the risk and decided to meet in person, even though there was a pandemic? Something inside of you said, I'm doing this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I'm going to do it. We're really glad you did. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you've chosen to be with somebody who you identified as it enhances you. Somebody who makes you think somebody who makes you smile and makes you laugh. You remember having your first official date. I guess you went over to, uh, to Tara's house, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, isn't that, that's like the most comforting place to be because you're just like yourself right there. It was the pandemic. I know, so that's <laughs> yeah, perfect. <there> <laughs> that's perfect. That's perfect. So notice this is a very interactive ceremony. I want you to feel relaxed. I kind of feel that the pandemic gave us all that opportunity to, to like really there was no facades. Everybody was just themselves. So you had everything on your side, actually, you did. You know, and everything from the time you were born until today, whatever it is you believe, you know, spirituality, whatever it is, from the time you were born to this day, all the things that have happened to you or didn't happen to you have brought you right here, You're standing right here. How perfect is that? It is absolutely perfect. Every year when you come upon your anniversary, I encourage you to rededicate yourselves to the vows that you're gonna to make today. Express your gratitude for all the different ways that, that you effectively love each other. All those little things. You know how that is. You come home from somewhere and the dishes are done. I mean, just simple things. Okay, Cat well. Cat chores are done. That could be a stretch, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> but, you know, it's just all the little things. Forgive yourselves for any judgments that might come between you. Because we're human, you know? We go through good and bad days, little rough patches, but that's just the way it is. Nothing major, but we get through them. But you see, for all the goodness, Tara, for all the goodness, James, that has happened as a result of the two of you coming together, it yields a future that is going to be, it's going to rock. It's going to be so much fun. fun. Today you're taking promises, vows, that you intend to keep. You're teaming up, and in essence you're saying, you know what, whatever comes my way, you're going to be right there with me. We're going to take it together, up and down, good or bad. Promising from this day forward to be grateful for each other's love, to be generous with your time and your energy, your affection, and most certainly to be patient with each other and with yourself. That's harder than we think, being 
being patient with ourselves. So the biggest word in the universe, what could that be? The most powerful word in the universe would be love. It is a powerful word. It's a very, very simple word, but it's also a very complex word. So it has to be handled very gently and very, you just, you reverent. It's just so soft and special. Try and make your marriage an active process of loving each other. You see, your love is a catalyst, and you put that up, and you use your relationship every day to do your best. Your marriage is not about this moment. It's not about the day you got engaged. It's about next week, next year, 10 years from now, 50 years from now. That's what it is, living life fully and getting as most out of it as you possibly can together. So continue to take care of yourselves in every way, emotionally and physically. Take care of yourselves because everything depends on it. Everything here after today depends on it. You're going to say the most important words in your life in just a moment. You're going to pledge your marriage vows to each other. Are you ready to do that? Are you ready? Are you ready, James? <laughs> I know Tara's ready. May I have the rings, please, Tara? <laughs> you got it. Like these. vowels after me and I'll do it nice and easy. I James vow the following. Say that to her. I James I vow the following. Never to forget the wonder. Never to forget the wonder. Of having found you. Right. Never to lose sight. Never to lose sight. Of the rare gift. Of the rare gift. That is your love. That is your love. Never to take love for granted. Never to take love for granted. Place our relationship first. Place our relationship first. In the presence of these witnesses. In the presence of these witnesses. I take you, Tara. I take you, Tara. As my wife. As my wife. From this day forward. From this day forward. In happiness and sorrow. In happiness and sorrow. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. In weakness and strength. In weakness and strength. Giving all that I am. Giving all that I am. In a bond. It is everlasting. It is everlasting. I promise these. I promise these. You pledge my love forever. I pledge my love forever. Better. 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 <laughs> okay, I'll take the ring and place on his finger. There you go. I'm going to hold his hands for her. Look into his eyes and just repeat after me. I, Tara, bow the following. I, Tara, bow the following. Mm -hmm. Never to forget the wonder. Never to forget the wonder of having found you. Of having found you. Never to lose sight. Never to lose sight of the rare gift. Of the rare gift. That is your love. That is your love. Never to lose sight. Never to lose sight. Or take love for granted. Or take love for granted. To place our relationship first. To place our relationship first. In the presence of these witnesses. In the presence of these witnesses. I take you, James. I take you, James. As my husband. As my hubby. <laughs> from this day forward. From this day forward. In happiness and sorrow. In happiness and hopefully not too much sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. In weakness and in strength. In weakness and in strength. Giving all that I am. Giving all that I am. In a bond. In a bond. That is everlasting. That is everlasting. I promise thee this. I promise thee. And push my love forever. And push my love forever. Get rid of me. No way. <laughs> All right, lovebirds, you both have declared love for each other. 
and your intentions with your vows. All of us here today. Who says no? No, we're not going there. <laughs> we all wish for you a home that is a sanctuary for both of you. A place, a place of peace, of freedom, fun, vitality, and lots of humor. I want you to continue to keep doing all the things that you love to do. Cuddling up and watching your favorite TV shows, hiking, going on vacation, being with Buggy and Nala, and most certainly spending time with family and friends. I pronounce, this would be the time to look right at each other. I pronounce you married as husband and wife, the new Mr. and Mrs. James East. Take your first kiss as a married couple. Woo! <laughs> Don't worry, I got all of it on tape. <laughs> you can get as many pictures as you want, inside, outside, wherever you want. James is like, look at my mom. <laughs> oh, I'm good. No, I'm good.